Good morning. I'm Ian One Bud. I'm one of the crew members here at the Historic Ship Nautilus and Submarine Force Museum. Today I'm going to be talking about Captain George Levick Street III. Captain George Levick Street III is probably the least known of the Submarine Medal of Honor recipients, but his bravery and tactics became no less legendary than those of his fellow awardees. Born on July 27, 1913 in Richmond, Virginia, Street began his naval career on surface ships before commissioning the USS Gar SS-206. He served on board Gar from 1941 to February 1944 and became the submarine's XO, where he operated the torpedo data computer during the successful sinking of eight enemy vessels, earning him the Silver Star. In November of 1944, Captain Street commissioned the USS Taranti SS-420 as commanding officer. At this point in the war, submarines faced the problem that there were very few Japanese ships left to sink. Those that remained were carefully protected in harbors or kept close to shore. That did not stop Street from sinking 11 enemy ships and several smaller vessels during the successful war patrols off the coast of Korea and southern Japan. Captain Street's Medal of Honor citation reads as follows. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty as commanding officer of USS Taranti during the first war patrol of that vessel against enemy Japanese surface forces in the harbor of Sheju, Quelpart Island off the coast of Korea on 14 April 1945. With the crew at surface battle stations, then Lieutenant Commander Street approached the hostile anchorage from the south within 1,200 yards of the coast to complete a reconnoitering circuit of the island. Leaving the 10-fathom curve far behind, he penetrated the mine and shoal obstructed waters of the restricted harbor despite numerous patrolling vessels and in defiance of five shore-based radar stations and menacing aircraft. Prepared to fight it out on the surface if attacked, Commander Street went into action, sending two torpedoes with deadly accuracy into a large Japanese ammunition ship and exploding the target in a mountainous and blinding glare of white flames. With the Taranti instantly spotted by the enemy as she stood out plainly in the flare of light, he ordered the torpedo data computer set up while retiring and fired his last two torpedoes to disintegrate in quick succession the leading frigate and a similar flanking vessel. Clearing the gutted harbor at emergency full speed ahead, he slipped undetected along the shoreline, diving deep as a pursuing patrol dropped a pattern of depth charges at the point of submergence. His illustrious record of combat achievement during the first war patrol of the Taranti characterizes Commander Street as a daring and skilled leader and reflects the highest credit upon himself, his valiant command, and the U.S. Naval Service. When asked about his Medal of Honor, Captain Street would refer to the GAR's Presidential Unit Citation and say, I really treasure this more than the Medal of Honor because every man was there with us. Following World War II, Street became a technical advisor for the film The Silent Service. He remained in the Navy holding several commands, including submarines, surface ships, and squadrons, in addition to teaching at both MIT and a local high school. He was a very humble man, remembered for stopping people who tried to glorify his accomplishments with the simple, call me George. Part of Captain Street's lasting legacy is that his executive officer on the Taranty was Edward Beach. Beach went on to become the commanding officer of the USS Triton, the first submarine to go around the world underwater. Additionally, Beach wrote several books about submarines, including the famous Run Silent, Run Deep, which was based on the wartime tactics of Captain George Levick Street.